Hey there, football fans. Welcome back to Soccer News Center. Today, we've got an interesting topic to discuss Zlatan Ibrahimovic defending the Glazer family's running of Manchester United. Let's dive right in. In a recent interview with Piers Morgan and Censored on Talk TV, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, the legendary striker who played for United from 2016 to 2018, spoke out in support of the Glazers. He believes that the criticism towards the owners is unjustified, pointing to their significant investments in the squad. According to Zlatan, the Glazers have brought in many players for a high amount of money, which shows that they are indeed investing in the team. He mentioned that it's a little bit wrong to say that they are not doing what the fans expect them to do. However, he also admitted that he doesn't know the real reason behind the ongoing protests against the owners. Now, let's talk about another interesting statement made by Zlatan during the interview. He took a swipe at players who have chosen to move to the Saudi Pro League. While he has no moral qualms about players going to Saudi, Zlatan revealed that he turned down an offer to join the Pro League himself. He believes that certain players need to finish their careers on the big stage, where they can be remembered for their talent rather than just what they earned. It's fascinating to hear Zlatan's perspective on these matters, considering his successful career and experience playing for top clubs around the world. He certainly has a unique point of view on the Glazers' ownership and the decisions players make regarding their careers. If you want to watch the full interview with Zlatan Ibrahimovic, head over to Piers Morgan and Censored on YouTube. We'll leave a link in the description below for your convenience. That's all for today's update. What are your thoughts on Zlatan's defense of the Glazers? Do you agree or disagree? Let us know in the comments section. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more football news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Soccer News Center.